This is the story about Martha Rinaldi's career decision. Martha is facing a dilemma of either staying at her current position at Potomac Waters or asked to be reassigned to a different brand within the company or accepting a standing offer at Deep Dive Pizza, where she interned in the previous summer. Martha had two job offers at first. Deep Dive Pizza offered her a surprising job of leading the special projects team. The second offer was from Potomac Waters as an assistant product manager in their health drinks division. After long considerations of both offers, she decided to choose the Potomac Waters because she sees a brighter future in the latter company. She was interested in marketing and heard many stuff and stories about Potomac's marketing excellence and says that they are very happy to be working there. Martha met Jamie Vaughn, an associate product manager, who would be seated next to her and work with her. On the very first day of work, Vaughn had a negative attitude and not welcoming at all. She found an email from her boss, Natalie Follett, who told her that she doesn't have any work for her for the next three weeks as she wasn't expecting her arrival. So she just told her to get to know the brand. Follett told her that Follett works from home about 50% of the time and she should learn from Vaughn, but reports only to her. Before Martha could even respond, Follett turned her attention to a phone call. As the days continued, Martha didn't really have any specific tasks. She was getting very bored at her job. Her daily tasks involved reading about the product brand and literature. Very boring stuff. Martha began to question, why did Follett not see any potential in her like other managers do? She never had more than five minutes with her or more than a short email. Finally, Martha was assigned her first interesting assignment in which she did a great job at. She was instructed to email the results to Julius Batista, the vice president of marketing. Batista gave her positive feedback and appreciated her work. Although Martha did the work, Follett didn't ask for Martha's help at all when presenting the information to the entire division. Martha felt ignored and isolated. One day, Vaughn gave Martha an assignment and told her it's urgent for her to complete this assignment as soon as possible. The following day, Vaughn came back to her with another assignment and told her to do this assignment as it is very important now. Furious with this, Martha said, You just gave me the storyboard assignment yesterday and said it was very important. This is getting confusing. Follett had to intervene in this clash, and sided with Vaughn, obviously, and told Martha to complete the assignments, as completing a PowerPoint is not that hard. Over the next few weeks, shouting battles between Martha and Vaughn continued, as Martha would say, You're hard to please! And Vaughn would reply, You arrogant MBAs are all alike! One day, while having lunch with another assistant, Martha found out that Follett did not give her the three-month evaluation that all managers gave out to their assistants. So she asked Follett about the review. Follett replied with a sigh, oh, Okay, well, if you want one, we'll do one. Martha heard from others that Vaughn had the reputation of being very difficult to work with and that she isn't alone on this. Martha heard plenty of negative remarks about Follett and Vaughn that made her future seem murky and alarming. So now, Martha had to make an important career decision. Should she ask to be transferred to another product brand within the company? Or would that make her seem like she is the one that's hard to deal with? Or should she leave Potomac Waters entirely and take the standing job offer with a higher salary from Deep Dive Pizza, where she was appreciated and enjoyed her work?